up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're here at Sears Point Raceway in Sonoma Valley, California for a very, very special reason, and it's this vehicle right here. This is the first ever all new 2022 Hyundai Kona M. But before we get into this power pack, pint size crossover SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Hyundai, they've been doing the business here in the United States since the 1980s. It wasn't until Y2K, the year 2000, when they came out with their first SUV, the Santa Fe. Santa Fe is still in the lineup, but you know what? As times have changed, so has Hyundai with their lineup, bringing more SUVs of all shapes and sizes. Now, with the Kona N being a subcompact, it really falls into this new dimension of performance in that smaller size. Many people would have said, why didn't you make a hatchback? They do have the Veloster N, but Hyundai being those uh, you know, trailblazers wanting to set new standards came up with the performance in this Kona N. So let's find out, is it worth the price? Did they do enough to the Kona platform to make it a true N vehicle? Let's go ahead. We're here at Sears Point and find out, is this Kona N worth the price? Let's dive in. Right off the bat, you'll notice the style. It's not just about bringing extra power underneath the hood. They bring some extra style, and the great news is that style is functional. So up front, you're gonna get that setup that you find on your standard Kona where you have your LED headlights mounted midship, and then up top, we do have our LED daytime running lamps. I think that this design has really kind of spilled over into their other vehicles from the Santa Fe and the Palisade. But if you notice, as you work your way down, we do have functionality with these side functional corner air vents, help channel that air. A Little bit of gloss black, a little bit of satin finish, everything else looking great, definitely separating it from your standard Kona and even the Kona N line. Now, as we come across the front end of the business, you're gonna get that Hyundai badging in the center. I like the way it's all color match, just kind of blends in. Of course, we're gonna have functionality up top and down below because we do have a turbocharged intercooled power plant. You'll notice that N badge. This is not just a badge that just sticks there and nothing else comes with it. You are gonna get that extra performance, including an electronic limited slip diff at the front end of the business. And then you'll have these stylish uh, fake vents up top. Uh, not my favorite, but it does bring that extra style. Now, when we get up onto the hood, same body lines. Everything rises up, curves towards those A pillars. And then as we come around the side, do we see some differences? We sure do. What you're gonna find are these 19 inch N branded wheels. Love the machined aluminum, that gunmetal metallic gray finish. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of these tires? These are Pirelli P0 performance tires, 235 on the width, 40 series sidewall. You'll see the bright red signifying this is an N vehicle with the N badge on those calipers. Rotors are over 14 inches and you are gonna have adaptive dampers all four corners. And it's not that they just took the Kona and put an engine with more horsepower. They retuned the whole suspension and the chassis to stiffen it up at the front and at the rear to give us that traction that we want so that we don't get a bunch of torque steer. I love the way everything is color matched on that fender flare setup, gives it that nice aggressive look to go with all the extra goodies, especially underneath the hood. Now, as we slide down, you're gonna get gloss black on your mirror caps, real tiny corner turn singles, color matched door handles. I like the touches, how it goes from the front down the side of that side sill extension in the gunmetal metallic gray, the curves. It really shows attention to detail, even going as far as putting the N embossed in that lower sill area. Very, very clean, but really stands out. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, are these different N touches, are they red for all the vehicles? Yes. You go with any color Kona N, these lower portions will have the red trim. It just looks really clean with our particular example because we have the red exterior. Now, one thing a lot of people wouldn't expect on a performance subcompact SUV is you still get your roof rails because that's the thing. They wanted to keep the versatility. So we have these satin gray close roof rails. You could get your crossbars if you wanted to. Really make this. This could be a vehicle that you take to an autocross or you use to get to the autocross and bring all your goodies for maybe another vehicle that you have. 
working your way towards the rear. Small in the quarter window. I like the floating roof design with the gloss black and that extra arrow work. And then as we wrap it around back, you're gonna get this Kona N specific rear spoiler. I love the style of it. You got that triangular third brake light. Very unique, different from the Veloster N in the sense that they actually tuned it specifically to not only look good, but also give you that extra downforce. And since we're speaking about down, let's go ahead and drop down. You're gonna have your LED lighting both up top and as we drop a little bit lower, we are gonna have to zonk this fake vent, sort of like on the hood. Looks good, would have been nice to have some functionality, but what is functional? Check out the massive exhaust openings. You could literally take a super size orange and drop one in there, but you have this massive rear diffuser. All of this comes together to give us downforce, but why don't we go ahead Let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Kona N. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod, but the big news is, is that guess what? This isn't just an appearance package. There's more underneath the hood. First off, you're gonna get this attractive engine cover. Any enthusiast likes to open up their hood and just kind of take and stare time at the engine and see that engine cover. You got the M badge, the word turbo. Of course, since it says turbo, that's what we're working with. And what do we have? We have a two liter, inline four turbocharged engine pumping out 276 horsepower 289 pound feet of torque now the great news is because this has that eight speed dct that means you're going to have that n grin feature which when you push the n grin button that's going to give you 10 extra horsepower because of the overboost feature. You could use it for up to 20 seconds and it needs about 40 seconds in between each push, but that's gonna give you 10 extra horsepower, zero to 60 in about five seconds, top speed, 155 miles per hour. And like I said, having that eight speed DCT is gonna allow you to fire off those very quick shifts. And of course, also put a big grin on your face, but why don't we go ahead, let's fire this up and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Hyundai Kona and the first time in this subcompact SUV class where you could get some real performance. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, you kind of pointed out that we were going to be talking about price with this review. Is it worth the price? How much is this Kona N? Well, official MSRP pricing has not been unveiled yet and released by Hyundai, but many, many experts are predicting around an MSRP of $35,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, I like the simple, clean design. What I would have liked to have seen is maybe some of that extra end color brought to the door panel, but you do have textured material up top, some dark gunmetal gray finishes for the door handle, and around the switch gear. And I think the best news is no gloss black. So you don't have to worry about fingerprints. The armrest is nice and soft. So you're gonna to wanna to put your elbow there from time to time. And then as you can see with the speaker grill, we do have the optional Harman Kardon sound system. Door pocket is a little tight. So maybe just one California style taco. You could go guacamole and you could go get yourself a bottle of Surge to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same clean design. You're not gonna get any glare from this material, especially if you're doing an autocross event or even a track day. As crazy as that sounds, the folks at N Performance want you to be able to do that with this vehicle. And then guess what? You come to that center stack 
what do we have? A 10.25 inch infotainment system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, obviously navigation. When you go into the different modes, you'll see how it comes up on the right there, including snow mode, slippery when wet, just like Bon Jovi claims that you need to be. And then obviously touch screen capability. We'll go into end mode. Watch this. Voila, look at all that magic. And now we have the actual end performance gauges. You got everything from throttle percentage to oil temp, engine temp, which is obviously the coolant. You got your lap timer, even your gear indicator with the whole setup of your tachometer. Love that whole setup. Even that, look at how I'm pressing the brake. So I release brake, 0%, press brake, and it gives you more pressure there. I'll throw it into reverse. There's your backup camera, a little on the small side, but you know what? The resolution is nice and clear and you do have that trajectory. Put it back in the park and we got the end gauges back. Flowing our way down, you got your standard AC controls, temperature gauge and blower fan switch. You got your start stop button conveniently placed. I love the way they do the toggle switches. Very easy to figure out, wireless charging, and then they got you covered at Hyundai with connectivity, two USBs, and a 12 volt making that magic happen. This makes the magic happen on the road or on the track. That's that wet clutch, eight speed DCT. Look at the finishes, the end badging, the nice bright blue finish all the way down onto the shift boot. You do have heated seats, no ventilated seats. And here is your drive mode selector knob, easy to get to, I'll put it back in a park. Two cup holders, a good old fashioned, a mechanical e-brake. Look at the finishes that they did. This is what elevates little touches like that. Key fob. Of course, you're going to get the end badge with your Hyundai logo. Let me spin it around so it looks proper. Spin it around that way. You got remote start. You could blast your horn. Semi-soft on the armrest. It would have been nice to have some blue stitching, but you open it up. Guess what you got? Enough room for a baker's dozen of Twinkies and then the seats specific to the end, and I'm gonna take care of a pet peeve. I like it when the headrest is nice and close. So you're gonna have your end embroidery, that leather style material with the microfiber suede, decent bolstering all the way down. These are specific to the Kona end. You do have manual seats for the passenger. I got power electric seats for the driver. But speaking of the driver, look at all this room here. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom. Coming over the business end, I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Kona N. Right, guys, business time behind the wheel of the Kona N. Check it out. To welcome you each and every time, you get that nice end badging on the sill plate with a little bit of aluminum touch. And then pedal box is spot on the money. What you want when you're at the Nürburgring, you do have a large dead pedal, aluminum, brake pedal, and throttle. And then you can see how easy it is to get to those electric seat controls. Getting set up, to be the captain of this little rocket ship is definitely a one, two, three process. And then the steering wheel specific to the end setup. You're gonna have the nice thick leather, the light blue stitching, flat black on the buttons. We got our end buttons to go into our end mode. You see this, end grin shift. That's to really get that sport performance shift, the launch control, even the large paddles behind the steering wheel mounted to the steering wheel, allow you to go up and down that eight speed DCT. And then of course you have that beautiful 10.25 inch digital display. Love the gauge setup on there. So clear, massive tack in the center, all the readouts, all the information that you can need. But why don't we go ahead? They say that this is versatile enough for enough people, including your friends, to go for an on-throttle drive with you. Let's check out the back seat and see if it's true. All right, guys, back seat time. Now, what's great is that, you know, there really is no competition for this particular vehicle because nobody else really makes a subcompact crossover SUV at this price point, or at least estimated price point, with this kind of performance. So being a subcompact, it is a little bit on the tight side, but the great news is I'm not hunched over. Plenty of headroom for the backseat passengers, and I like the way it's sort of like stadium seating. I'm sitting up a little bit higher than if I was sitting in the front seats. That gives you a bird's eye view of your driver cutting the perfect lap time. Let's talk about what else is going on. Backs of the seats, you got plenty of room to move up the seat, but you have plastic here. 
I would normally zonk that, but you know what? The good news is it's going to be easy to keep clean in case anybody, uh, you know, tosses their cookies back here while you're going through the twisty bits in your local backyard. We do have a USB, which is a nice touch to have that connectivity. And we do have enough room for at least, I would say, five Jolly Ranchers. So you have a Jolly Rancher for everybody, all your favorite flavors. Plus, we got a cargo net over here. Not my favorite, but the good news is you could easily put a couple books in here on how to become a race car driver for your passengers to really learn about what it takes to turn a fast lap. Room is great. I like the way they did the blue stitching and everything. Pull this down, semi-soft, but you got two cup holders, good size. Flip it back. Let's go ahead, let's get into the cargo area and see what we could put in this Kona N. Right, guys, time to see what kind of junk we could put in the trunk space of this Kona N. Real simple, you hit the button, you use a little muscle to lift it up. What you're gonna be greeted to is 19 cubic feet of space. And what I like about this vehicle is like I said, they wanted to keep the usability. So you're still gonna get the same amount of space as your standard Kona. And if you want more, because you are going to the track or you're going to an autocross event, very easy to just take the buttons on the back of the seats and flip them down. Look how flat that is. So you could have your pop-up tent, you could have maybe a jack, some jack stands, either for the use of this vehicle or for another vehicle that you're bringing to the track. But you know what? We're here at Sears Point. If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's go on throttle in this Kona N. All right, guys, we're in the 2022 all new Kona N. Not an N line, an N. And what's great is, is that you're getting all of that turbocharged goodness from the Veloster N and the Elantra N. So we're looking at that whole 276 horsepower. Love the way everything is laid out in here. It's interesting how with the digital gauge cluster, with the N branded steering wheel, it really elevates the feel and the, and the touches in here. Seats are unique to this vehicle. Not as aggressive as the Elantra N, but still very comfortable. And that's the good news is you're gonna get that comfort, but it's also gonna hold you into place. You do have the paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight speed DCT transmission. And yes, in full end mode, you are gonna have a stiffer ride, but this thing I'm telling you handles like nothing but the business. All right, guys, how about a little bit of twisty bit action, shall we? Oh, here we go. Squealy tire's a happy tire. Love the way you just feel planted. Even though the vehicle is front wheel drive, you feel really planted. And the feedback you get to the front wheels is phenomenal. I'm just gonna slow up a little bit here as uh, we kind of catch up to that van. Put it back into first gear. Hot throttle, here we go. <laughs> Just puts a smile on your face. You feel good. This is what driving's all about. Brakes feel great. I know a lot of people are saying, well, Joe, where's the Brembo's? Where's the Brembo's? I really think it was smart for Hyundai not to put them on here because that's just gonna cause the overall cost of the vehicle to go up. And remember that estimated price around $35,000, uh, they're trying to keep it at a certain price point, but uh, we're gonna keep on rolling here and see what other uh, roads we can find. All right, guys, I wanna do a quick on throttle launch from a dead stop for you. We're on this little side street to kind of keep it safe. Uh, if you're ready, I'm ready. Here we go. On throttle, here we go. So as you can see, with the way the suspension is, it is very bouncy all over, you know, torn up pavement. But the great news is when you get on a smooth road like we are about to, it really handles super well. I like the way the dash changes colors as you get closer to that red line. It gives you that nice sporty feel. And this is technology that they've taken from their racing efforts and brought into the Kona N. And this is where you get to have your cake and eat it too. Now, for better or for worse, the Kona N sits at the same ride height as your normal Kona. What that means is your center of gravity is gonna be up higher than if you go with 
a GTI or something like that. Obviously the Volkswagen GTI, much lower to the ground. But what it really does is it allows it to keep its real deal SUV feel. I got in manual shift mode, if you're wondering, using the paddles, nice size on the paddles. Second gear, on oh, throttle, here we go. Nice. It just puts a smile on your face and every time you shift, it gives you a little bit of a jolt, which is great, as it's going through the different gears in the gearbox. Road noise is a little high, but seats are comfy and uh, getting to everything really makes sense and is super easy to, uh, to work through the infotainment system, especially that end mode setup with the different gauges. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel about what the driving aspect is. You know, as you're going through turns, it's got a nice weight to it. Throttle response is wonderful, but uh, hopefully you had enough. I know we need to get back. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's wrap this one up. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a day here at Sears Point. I definitely want to thank the whole Hyundai team for allowing Radies Rides access to this vehicle and this media event. Let me know what you think. Has Hyundai done enough? Has the N engineers and designers done enough to make this potentially worth that price? Put it in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to The Rock. No, we're not talking about The Wrestler. We're talking about Lori, The Rock behind that camera. Thank you for being the muscle. Thank you for being the queen. And thank you for all your hard work, Lori. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.